This is the last night of our European trip. We are in Dublin, Ireland, staying at this beautiful castle. We're about to go out and eat, but I just want to do one last video in Ireland. And I wanted to direct it to the person who broke trust and is trying to earn their partner's trust. I'm gonna give you some critical things that are very, very simple. I don't know how easy they'll be. They should be easy. I don't know why they're not easy. Don't make them hard. But if you do them, boy, they'll be game changers. Number one, you have to ask your partner, what could I do or say that's gonna make you feel safe? So does that mean your partner wants you to hug them? Does that mean your partner wants to, uh, to hear you say why you regret doing what you did? Um, that's number one. You have to ask them what you need to do or say to make them feel safe, to earn their trust. Number two, you have to do <laughs> what they ask you to do. So if they say, I need you to hug me, it's not a one and done. If they say, I need you to tell me why you regret doing A, B, and C, you don't just say it once. You do it multiple times. You do it <laughs> continuously. You got to be consistent. And number three, and if you ask me, this is probably the most important of them all. You got to have a good attitude with it. If your partner, your spouse, your significant other does not feel you're interested and invested in their healing, and that's evident by having a good attitude, then you might as well just go back and continue doing what you did in the first place to break their trust in their heart. So again, three key critical vital elements. Number one, ask your significant other, what do I need to do or say for you to feel safe? That's number one. Number two, you actually have to do it. Now, after a few days, after a few weeks, you ask them again, what else do you need me to do for you to feel safe? What else do you need me to say for you to feel safe? And you don't stop doing what you were doing before, you add it on. This is now compounded with what you're doing. Then again, and I've said this before, you do it. You do it with a loving heart. You do it with a kind heart. You do it with a patient heart. You have to show them that you're invested, you're interested, you're, you're, you're pursuing them. They wanna feel more pursued by you than what you did to pursue breaking their trust. Did you pursue some type of sex outside of the relationship? Did you pursue some type of validation outside the relationship? Did you pursue some type of whatever whatever you did to spend your time, mo energy, possible money, what have you, pursuing breaking the relationship? Your partner, your spouse, your significant other wants to feel at a minimal that for them to be pursued. Those are the three key elements. But let me tell you something. Do not let your partner, your spouse, your significant other walk away from this interaction feeling unsafe because that just actually doesn't set you back to square one. It sets you back miles before square one. Do this, I'll guarantee you it's a game changer.